Hey Aquarius, I'm back y'all with another video. This is going to be a general read guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome, hello. I am the Empress. Alright, so let's jump into it. This is going to be a general read, so whatever pops out, pops out. Uh, we're just going to go with the flow y'all and see where this goes, okay? See what message Spirit has for us, what Spirit is. Alright, so couple more shuffles and then we'll jump into it. Alright. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. What's going on with Aquarius? Alright, so some of y'all could be in y'all's feelings because somebody had no chill. Like, somebody clap back was so strong. They ain't have no chill. This could be y'all. I'm pretty sure it was y'all. Because y'all Aquarius, y'all is something else with the clapbacks. But, yeah. I'm getting, like, the clapback had no chill. Maybe you left somebody in their feelings. Or you could be in your feelings. Take it how it resonates. All right. So... We got a uh, fear of missing out. Okay, fear of missing the opportunity. Maybe you're feeling pressured, like you have to make some type of decision. It could be in regards to something about like staying at home or going to work or you. It could be anything that you may be feeling pressured about. Okay, because we got shipping here. Now, shipping is wishing you stay, were stayed together, rooting for a partnership, believing in something, and then we got staycation. So, it's like, do you want this or not? Okay? Because we got staycation. Staycation is like a vacation spent at home, enjoying local attractions, mini vacations, and being on a budget. But kind of, this person is just like comfortable. Okay? This person is comfortable in, a, in their comfort zone and, you know... Staying at home, doing what you like to do at home. Um, but some of you may be feeling like you're missing out on something if you're just being at home. Okay? You want to glow up. You want to boss up. You want to do something glamorous. Like the people who you follow on social media. I'm getting that. Okay? You see a lot of people on social media flexing. A lot of people throwing shade. Like, it's just, it could be a little bit of mess going on. Okay? So, somebody's in their feelings. So, somebody feels like they're missing out. All right. So, we got point of view. Trying a different approach. Change your outlook, opinions, point of views, and perspectives. So, it looks like a lot of people got their point of view. Somebody has their point of view that they could be low-key trying to get out or have a point of view or um, or an opinion or perspective that they want to get out. And it's kind of like maybe, you know, someone's trying to low-key do it. Maybe this is you trying to low-key do it. You know, like get your point across but not, you know, ruffle people's feathers too much. Because somebody's in their feelings. Maybe it's about something that you brought to the table. Maybe it's something about the pain that you brought to the table. Somebody could be definitely in their feelings. Tell me more. An influencer. All right. So having the power to influence, monitor your reputation, marketing, persona, persuader. This could be you. Okay. Maybe you are on social media and you're an influencer. And you, someone's in their opinions about their point of view. Okay, I see a squad of goals like there could be like a circle of, you know, people that you surround yourself with and people are being very opinionated. But everybody got goals because I'm seeing squad and goals. So everybody got goals that they're trying to accomplish, maybe trying to keep up an image of, you know, a certain image, but then somebody's rooting for the ratchet. Somebody's saying yes, yes, yes for the ratchet. It's like the ratchet is getting all of the attention. Okay, so 
Yeah, see, somebody feels like somebody being too extra. Maybe somebody being too extra, maybe it looks ratchet, but people are congratulating this type of behavior. When really the squad, we a circle, we got goals, we got a certain image that we trying to keep up, keep. And somebody out of the group could be trying to just be a little too extra, just doing too much. What else? Bougie, yes ma'am, like I said. Like I said, there is an image that is needing to be up kept honey and you you're giving bougie image you're doing you know luxurious things you got a luxury lifestyle but it's somebody else in the group that's just like doing it just a little tad bit too ratchet just a tad bit like i'm not you, I, you can't sit with us you know because the way you you know you're not on the same page you don't even have the same point of views you know Insta famous. All right. So somebody's trying to be famous. Somebody's, I, I'm sensing like you guys' energy is like up there, up there. You're an influencer. You are looked at, saw that as this, you know, you got this perfect, nice image that you've built. You built up a brand. You're doing something. Okay. You're doing something big. But see, we got people, somebody capping, pretending like they're spiritual. We got spiritualists and cap. Um, high key, low key, <laughs> high key, low key. Really, somebody's like, but you really on a budget. <laughs> but somebody's salty. Okay, I'm getting a salty energy. I'm getting some vinegars, uh, salt and vinegar chips over here. Okay, somebody is somebody doing a lot of capping. So this energy looks like it's somebody's doing some capping. Okay, somebody's doing some capping. All right, so I'm going to jump into the tarot. All right, give me, tell me more about Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? Yeah, I feel like you don't want to slow down. You don't, you want to keep things at a flow. You don't want to slow down. You don't want your finances to slow down. Um, and I do see like a group, I'm getting like a, a group of people, a group of friends. I'm getting like a group, maybe it's a group chat. A group call. Uh, I'm just kind of getting like a group. All right, now we got the Six of Cups. Okay, so somebody feels like things should go back to the way that they were, but you you fought your way out of that. So you like, I don't feel like you you fought your way out of that. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Could be a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Libra, a Taurus. Yeah, like you fought for better days. You you fought for this. Somebody wants you to go back to how you were. And somebody's really upset about it. Somebody's really upset about it. Five of Swords and Nine of Swords. Somebody is extremely upset about this. Okay, so maybe they feel like you... You being bougie, you acting bougie, you weren't acting like this before, you were more laid back, you were more down to earth, you know, but now maybe somebody feels like you changed. Okay, why is the King of Cups here? This King of Cups is waiting. All right, waiting. I'm getting friends. I'm seeing like friends because we got the eight of wands. So this person could be waiting, you know, listening to your conversations that you're having with friends. This could be over social media or group chat. Why is the three of cups here? Four of wands, yep. Okay, so there's a gathering of some sort. Some getting together, an event. 
that could possibly be going on. Pawns of Two of Wands. Okay. I see you guys planning an, planning an event, a social event. There's some type of event that I see that could be coming up. So this is not for everybody. This could be for a select few. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Nine of Cups. Okay. And you want it to be laid. Okay. You want it to be the most talked about thing, event ever. Like you want it to be big. Somebody feels like maybe you doing too much. Why is the magician here? The Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Queen of Cups. We got King Cups and Queen of Cups here. A lot of y'all done with a water song. I feel like you manifesting something. You're manifesting something. You got a lot of hope for something. You got a lot of hope for something. Why are the Six of Cups here? The world. You're not going back. You've already done, you've already pressed forward. You're not going back. And you're happy with your results. But you can, I feel like it's somebody who's mad. Yes, you feel like you did an amazing job. Amazing job. You not ask, you didn't ask for this person's opinion. You didn't ask for this person's opinion. In your eyes, you are blessed. You you've manifested something that you um were praying about. You were praying on this and you like the results. You like what you have gotten. What you have manifested. Now, we got the Empress here in the past. There's a lot of growth, new beginnings. I feel like you're like, look, I was like this before. Before you asked me to be in a relationship, maybe you weren't paying attention. Maybe you had your eyes on something else. But I was already on this level. Like, I was already top notch, okay? I'm already top notch, but I'm getting that there's a water sign that's like feeling some type of way because we got five of ones for future energy. So there's competition. There's the argument and disagreement possibly with the fire sign uh, or a male. This male could be very handsome. This person is very attractive. This person can catch an eye. Um, but I'm getting that there's possibly like disagreements or arguments about this person. Why is the King of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles, a single man here. There's a fight or a disagreement about it. Somebody's keeping their options open in the future. It looks like you're going to be keeping your options open in the future. Because it looks like this person is trying to get away with the Six of Swords energy. Temperance. Okay. All right. So we got Six of Swords and Temperance could be a Sagittarius and the Five of Cups. So this person is over here trying to calm down because they're kind of regretting what they said to you. Because whatever this is that they said to you that turned you up, that made you take things to the next level. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah. See, you invested. You invested in something and there's been some growth, okay? Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Sun. You've invested in something. It's bringing in that income. It's doing what it's doing and you're happy with the results, okay? So something you planted, some seeds that you planted a while ago has grown. So you've taken things to the next level. Somebody over here that you're dealing with or is in your circle is kind of like giving me kind of like, but you need to pipe down. Like, you need to chill out because you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't all that. And you like, no, I am on it. Okay. Why is the justice card here? Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you feel you gotta this this your other side to you, okay? This your other side. Like you got the air energy aquarius where you're sharp, you're witty. 
you logical. Then you got this fire side about you as well. You got that go get it in you. You got that I'm a rise regardless. I'm going to make it to the top. I'm going to do what I need to do type of energy. I don't know if this is this person's first time being introduced to this energy, but you are definitely bringing it, okay? Yeah. Two of Swords and the Page of and the Page of Swords. This person didn't see this coming. For some reason. They didn't see this coming. Now, this person I'm getting is a male. Okay. Emperor could be an Aries, but this person could be a big deal. Like this person could be somebody that's looked up to, admired by a lot of people, and is always getting a lot of attention and things like that. But the thing about it is, is you have you have manifested that as well. So it's like, yeah, you see it, you see it. Now this person over here kind of in their feelings. I'm gonna pull some energy to see, like, what's this person's energy? Like, what's what's up with that? Because I see them spying on you as well. Because they know they see the growth. They see it. All right, so show me this person's energy. What is this person's intentions towards Aquarius? Show me this person's intentions towards Aquarius. Gosh, I told you they spying on you. They looking at your pictures. This person is like chasing after you. This person really is like a fan. I'm getting like fan behavior. Like while you're going into your new phase, your growth, your transformation, your changed mind. This person over here is talking. They talking and they, they got a camera. This is somebody who either is a photographer, I want to say, or this person is like recording you guys' conversations, like something like that. I'm just getting it. But this person definitely is like looking at your pictures they want to be just like you. I'm hearing like they want to be just like me. <laughs> like really, like they see you going into a new phase, turning a, turning into a new chapter. And they're like trying to make sure that they can keep up. Like I'm getting keeping up with the Joneses. I'm just saying. That's what I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on future videos, okay? All right, guys. Until next time, hit the like button, y'all. <laughs>